Okay. Okay, I'm not sure if you've seen Jason's very nice uh, control box yet, but we're going to show it to you anyway. Wrong button. Okay, uh, this is our Variac C Power stat. There's some of the stats. That's how we have it wired. It's very nice, 15 amps. It's been very good to us. Our switch assembly. This is the spark gap switch. This is the auxiliary switch. We usually plug a lamp into that so we can see what we're doing. This is our breaker. It's mounted on a piece of DIN rail, which I'm not going to touch because I don't know if it's live or not. And these are our EMI filters. They help protect the house. I don't know if they do anything or not, but I think they do. So, and you're supposed to have them. Two cords come out of that hole right there. And power comes out right here. There are four wires. Where's the other? Oh, the other two are up here. My, my uh, sorry. Um, these are the spark gap wires, these are the power wires. Okay. Behold the huge top load. It is indeed wider than the coil is tall. We finally, by tweaking the spark gap, which is over there, I'll show you in a minute, uh, we finally managed to get it to break out on its own, but it works much better with this breakout point, which is a uh, car antenna courtesy of Jason we got it to arc 60 inches last night hopefully and that was against the wind so hopefully we'll be able to get it to do similar performance tonight uh, we'll find out in a couple hours okay oh I'll show you the spark gap you know you've seen it well there it is uh, mostly my design although Jason was quite instrumental in the construction. See right there, that's our little blower fan and quencher gap. Don't know if it does much, but I like to think it does. Uh, and of course the uh, motor down there, which I had modified in class uh, to be synchronous. So, new primary, which we've been using a while, so it's not really new, but I haven't filmed it up close. It's uh, slightly conical. I don't know if it's better that way. Since we've adjusted the phase on the Spark app, we're getting way too much power. And we've actually had some damage done because of bracing sparks. Ooh, it's making the camera go crazy. Let's see that, like, streak? Yeah. That's underneath the enamel. It's not good. So, all right, anyway, enough of me yammering. Now we're going to run the coil. It's actually now it's going to be two hours from now, but to you, the viewer, it's going to seem instant. So, uh, here's the coil. Okay, you may fire when ready. We just got it to arc 61 inches. film anymore.
There's the FCC coming to get us. <laughs> Run the gauntlet! <laughs>